hi guys and welcome back to my channel so recently i saw this sugar technique on youtube and i decided to try it and guys it came out perfect okay i did a few switches i added some extra an extra ingredient to mine but it came out perfect perfect guys the first one i did came out looking funny so i decided to switch it and add an extra ingredient to this one Okay, so guys, what we're going to need today are 100 grams of um, granulated sugar as well as 30 grams of glucose and then half a teaspoon of CMC or Tylus powder. That was the, um, the extra ingredient that I added and it made it so like a little bit more pliable than the regular one everyone is making. And it is so nice and easy to work with guys. But in my case today, I didn't use just one recipe. I multiplied the recipe by one and a half, which means I used about 150 grams of white granulated sugar as well as 45 grams of um, glucose. The regular glucose you use for... Um, for making fondant you can buy it in um, cake supply stores and stuff and then half a teaspoon of CMC and then it was difficult to combine with um, the spatula so I had to combine it with my hands and then what you want to do is combine it really well until it starts to feel like it starts to stick together like the sugar is wet or something and then that's all we're gonna do okay I had a problem with like thinking of what color I was gonna use but end of there said to use some yellow food coloring because like this morning i woke up singing <laughs> i'm walking in sunshine oh <laughs> i don't know for some weird reason so i decided to use yellow and it came out perfect like yellow is my mood right now okay so guys what you want to do is mix it really well until like the yellow is evenly distributed and then i'm going to wash my hands and then cut out two pieces of parchment paper one is going to be underneath you don't need to maybe flour it or use cornstarch or anything the fact that it's parchment paper it's not gonna stick so we're gonna spread this evenly on the parchment paper and then put the other parchment paper on top and then use a rolling pin and then start to spread it's important I think the mistake I made the first time was spreading it too thick so it was difficult to cut out when I wanted to do it plus I didn't add CMC to the first one so it felt really like it was really difficult to work with like it was so hard to work with it kind of felt like solid isomol so what I did was I had to throw that away and okay I tried melting it to start all over but it just looked funny so I just ended up throwing it away and then I started again but this time I added some Tylus powder or CMC to it and this time it came out perfect guys like anybody can do this this took me literally like 45 minutes to make so what I did was I put in the oven for about 10 minutes at 100 degrees and then it came out perfect see how perfect it is guys and the point at this the, the important thing at this point is not to peel it off you have to wait for like 10 minutes until it dries before you start to peel it off or you try to check if it's pliable or anything so leave it for about 10 minutes and then come back to it at this point I already left it and now I'm back to it and like you see how pliable it is guys it is like the first one I made I couldn't move it like it was breaking and this one is so pliable that's why it's easy like it's a technique you can wrap, wrap around your cake and it will be so pretty and perfect so in my case but in my case today what I'm going to do is I'm going to like cut out like rounds so I can use it to decorate my cake <laughs> And it was a little bit like weird cutting it out because I don't know maybe because I'm used to cutting out fondant so it felt a little bit weird but when you like you're trying to cut it out it's important that you like you press it really hard so that like you can cut out the shape you want and then smoothen the edges so guys I don't know what design I'm going to do with this but like in the meantime I'm just gonna cut out like different um, sizes of rounds at this point okay i know i'm going to like paint the edges gold or silver i haven't made up my mind yet and like my cake is going to be yellow because <laughs> i woke up working on sunshine <laughs> okay so i'm going to cut out different of this different sizes of this round and then i'm going to set them aside the thing is i'm not sure if like i can reuse the scraps but i'm going to remelt it and tell you guys how that goes 
like I mean the extra um, pieces remaining I don't know if you can like put that in the microwave soften it and reuse it so I don't know how that's gonna go so I'm just gonna cut out the shapes and then microwave the remaining like for like 30 seconds and see if it melts and like if I roll if it turns out back the same way then like maybe that's like we can reuse it or maybe color it another color and use it again I'm not sure anywho so I'm gonna cut out this part this tiny round so guys I'm excited how this is turning out like I'm not someone to just see a trend and like try to do it immediately but like this was so easy and it, it turned out so perfect so like if you really want to do this like you don't need like any technical know-how it is so easy all you have to do is watch this video maybe a couple of times and see like try to follow the steps I did and it will come out perfect I promise you guys and you can try a different color or use silver dust or use browns or or, um, or rose gold like I'm sure it to come out really nice okay so guys I'm going to take this um, extra pieces and then I'm going to melt it and tell you guys how that goes in the meantime <laughs> I think it's best for you to use a more liquid glucose than the body piece one I don't know there's this one I see people use online online and it is like a, a, a little bit liquider like a little bit more watery than the one I use so I'm sure that will turn out way easier and to be easier to roll out or even easier to cut out when you're using it okay so right now I'm mixing some vodka with my edible gold dust so I'm going to paint the edges of the rounds I already cut out I'm not sure how I want to paint the edges yet so I'm going to paint the edges from outside to inside or if I'm just going to like dust some gold to the outside of the edges of the round I'm not sure which one but let's see how that goes so I'm going to take one right now and I'm going to paint from outside to inside and see if I'm going to like it let's see I don't know if like okay I don't think I like this I think it will look too funny so I think the next one I'm going to do I'm just going to paint the edges like just let the gold dust touch the edges of the round and see what difference it makes yeah I hope you guys like this technique and I hope you try it out and please when you try it out please tag me or tag me on Instagram I need to put my Instagram handle in the comment section below or you can comment on this post with your pictures and like I'm sure you guys are gonna try it and like, you're gonna love it so I'm going to take my time and paint the edges so I'm going to fast forward the side so I don't bore you guys in the meantime guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel could you please subscribe and give me a thumbs up under this video and send me a comment in the comment section because when you like the video you're telling youtube that you actually did enjoy the video and that means other people would like to enjoy it as well so that way they get straight to more people and i get better chances so guys see how pretty this is i swear it looks even prettier in real life i swear to god <laughs> you guys should really try it out like you really love it so in the meantime i already crumb coated my cake and covered it in buttercream like i already did all the things i needed on the cake all i need to do at this point is to stick on my sugar sheet technique decorations <laughs> that was a mouthful <laughs> okay so guys i'm going to stick all of this into the cake like strategically i don't know how i'm going to fit everything but i don't have to fit everything i just need it to look really nice so i'm going to take my time and try to fit it one at a time at different angles and see how that comes out like this cake was so perfect and i enjoyed every second of making it and i hope you guys try it out so thank you guys thank you for watching till this point if you watched all the way to the end and i really appreciate your taking your time to be with me today so guys thank you and i'll see you in my next video in the meantime if you haven't subscribed come on what are you waiting for please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and turn on post notifications so that when i post a video you get to see it first thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye